download the Valley News Live Storm Team weather app. Looking out to the west from our studios here in South Fargo, we see some clouds on the horizon. There is some change coming in our weather as we go through the next day or two. And for some of us, it means some substantial rainfall. But first, it's our Shields Weather Kid Night once again. And joining me tonight, Keller Lee. Keller, you go to school at Cheney Middle School? Yeah. And how old are you, young man? I am 11. Okay, and uh, what's your favorite subject to study? Um, social studies. Okay, what grade are you in? Sixth. Sixth grade. Uh, might I add, your tailor has superb taste. All right, anybody you want to say hi to before we get started? Um, I want to say hi to my football team. Okay, we'll give them a wave. All right, let's take a look at the weather for your football team if they're heading out and about this evening. What are the current conditions out there right now? Um, it's 81 degrees, so pretty warm, and 20 mile per hour wind. Good. Now that wind's from the south and it is gusting to 25 miles per hour. Another windy day. You notice that out there, right? Yeah. All right. How windy is it out to the east in Minnesota? Um, in Minnesota, in Fergus Falls, it's about 26 degrees. Okay. Over in Grand, Grand, Grand Forks. Forks. Uh huh. Um, it's the 20, wind's blowing. 22. Yep. Miles per hour. Okay, and in North Dakota, the wind isn't quite as strong. When we look out to Devil's Lake, and it even changes direction more westerly. How about Devil's Lake? What's their wind speed? Devil's Lake, it's 17 miles per hour coming from the west. Very good. Now, temperatures out to the west. Where's the cool spot right now? Um, around Minot. Yeah, 59 degrees over there. And uh, one of the warmer spots on the map is Sisseton at 83 degrees. What's Grand Forks looking at right now? Around Grand Forks, it should be like 78 degrees. Okay, so that's not too bad for a bike ride tonight. Now take a look out to the lakes country. Is there weather warm as well? Um, it's not as warm, but. Okay, good, 74 in Bemidji. And now take a look at the radar. If you step back with me just one second, uh, do you see any rain at all showing up in our counties? Um, no. No, not right now. So looks like a pretty dry night for us as we head into the evening. But tell everybody what you're seeing on the radar out to the west. Out in the west, over here, there's a little bit of rain. Good. A little bit of snow. Okay, good. We got. A, did you say snow? Yeah. Okay, I made you say that. I didn't want to say that. But there, the blue here shows that there's some flaky weather out there. For us, though, quiet conditions for now. Let's see if it stays that way. Your hour-by-hour -hour forecast, what's all the white stuff you see on here? Um, it's clouds. Yeah, little clouds. Now, as we set things into motion from right now towards about 9 o'clock tonight, tell everyone out in Minnesota what they can expect. It's going to be pretty cloudy and in the 70s. Very good. And when we look out to the west, it looks like, well, it'll be a cool evening for Jamestown and Devil's Lake. But does it look like it'll be cloudy? Um... No, not no, really. Not rainy either. But overnight, we'll see a drip or two of rain here or there, isolated in nature. Now, when we rise and shine for Friday and get ready for school, where's it going to be the coolest? Um, it's going to be the coolest around Devil's Lake. Good. And how about the sunniest weather? Where do you see that? Um, Fergus Falls. and. Good. So most of us will enjoy mild temperatures, not too strong of winds, but I want you to watch the left side of the page here when we set this into motion towards lunchtime tomorrow. What was that? It was really strong rain. Yeah, so we're going to have a band of heavy rain make its way through our western and northern counties through midday. We stay dry in the south and eastern counties. And by tomorrow, when you're off of school, why don't you tell everybody what you see on the map there now? It might be pretty rainy. Uh-huh. So we'll have a chance of some showers in the evening. And in fact, for Fargo-Moorhead, the best chance of showers will be from Friday evening into Saturday morning. Here's a look at your forecast temperatures tomorrow on the drive home. Does it look warmer or colder than today? It looks a little bit colder. A little bit colder. The wind won't be as strong, but we have some rain chances. If you're in those western counties or northern counties, look out. Could be well over an inch of rain for you. Lakes country, what do you see there? Keller, I'm going to have you step back just a touch. Temperature-wise tomorrow? Um, it should be high 60s to low 70s. Wonderful. A breezy day with a chance of some late evening showers the way it looks. How about to the north in Minnesota? In northern Minnesota, it should be um, 
in the fifth, high 50s to low 70s. Yeah, all over the board. Some cool spots up by Hallock, milder though as you go to the east. And in lakes, or excuse me, the Devil's Lake Basin, it looks like a lot of 50s on the weather map with a very good chance of heavy rain in the early half of the day. Here's your Cheney Middle School morning bus stop forecast by Keller Lee. Go ahead, Keller. It should be 51 degrees, mostly cloudy. Right, and a few It sprinkles. should have a little bit of rain. Okay, and how about lunchtime? It should be 58 degrees, so pretty cold, and cl cloudy with more rain. Good, and how about when school is done for the day? Um, it should be sort of warmer, but it should be a lot it ha should have a lot of rain. Yeah, good chance of some heavy rain, and that heavy rain lasts into Saturday morning for the start of the weekend as well. What will our temperature be? Around 64 and 65. The last half of Saturday looks pretty good. Does Sunday look warmer or cooler? Um, Sunday looks a little bit cooler. Yeah, okay, 73 I mean, degrees. warmer. Okay, and then how about into early next week for Monday? Um, it should be pretty warm. Good job. Keller, follow me this way. You analyze that map just like you're dressed. Fine. Nice work, young man. Have a step right here. And I got to tell you, um, just by looking at your dress when you walked in the door, you were ready for success. A nice job. Keller, did you have a good time? Yeah. He uh, no. did excellent. He made it look he easy. He did. Nice job. Today's spotlight couple is Jan and Lou Thalen of Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, celebrating 60 years of wedded bliss. Way to go, you two. Coming up next on Valley News Live, more and more are turning to online review sites before trying out products or services. But should we trust what's being said? Here's why some experts say no.